Good day, mates. Aussie Tom here. <laughs> I'm still getting used to that name. I gave myself that name yesterday, Aussie Tom. And you know when I'm traveling around the traveling around the world, in this case Australia, and every time I go to a certain area, region, something like that, I'll go on Google and I'll search top attractions. And I search top attractions Sunshine Coast, and this place right behind me came up right right near the top of the list and this is the ginger factory in Yandina. Yandina I think is how you pronounce it. The ginger factory and it's a beautiful beautiful day today. It's a winter day. It's middle of uh, middle of winter as a matter of fact and you wouldn't think so by looking at the shirt that I'm wearing or the palm trees up there but uh, I'm gonna take you on a tour of the ginger factory and I think maybe we get to make a gingerbread man. I don't know maybe have some ginger ale or a cup of tea, some ginger tea or something like that. We will see as the saying <laughs> we will see as the saying goes. But right now, let's go inside and check this place out. <laughs> and here we go into the ginger factory and no sooner do they start filming than I see the the train pulling up and the uh, the crossing gates are crossing gates are going down here. And here comes the train, and I'm sure, I'm sure we'll probably take a ride on the train before the day is the day is through. So there goes the there goes the train, and you see all the the folks waving as they are coming by. Boy, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful little little train. Young boy is uh, waving there. So now the gates probably should go back up and. In we go. You see, they've got the gingerbread man there telling you to to stop and watch for uh, watch for trains. Now, the nice thing about this place is that it's actually it's free. You don't have to pay anything to come in here to the. Uh, you don't have to pay anything to come into the to the factory. And as you can see, the gentleman there is writing down his name and all that. So I'm going to do that, and then we'll uh, we'll step inside. Having provided all of my contact information, I am going to step on inside and just share this. Boy, this looks like a beautiful, beautiful place. Budurum. Budurum. It's the uh, world's finest ginger. And look at all of the stuff there. There is your, there's your ginger ale. So much as I, much as I had hoped, you see you can get alcoholic ginger ale or ginger beer and ginger beer and vodka wow what a nice nice place this is very very nice get yourself a little little holder there oh this place is wonderful and the smell if only I could if only I could take the smell and send it right through the the video from this this uh, factory to your to your home there look at there's Buddha room for for ginger uncrystallized naked naked ginger I don't know if I can show that on YouTube or not but hopefully so there's your there's your naked ginger what a nice place this is Homemade recipe, creamy ginger dip. Boy, there's just no shortage. If you like ginger, this is the place to be. Look at that. Wonderful. Over here they've got, for the tummy, honey. They've got some honey over here. Wow. Buy yourself a nice nice glass creamer over here they have a menu pack take home the taste of the world's finest ginger with a factory tour menu pack that contains all the ginger you need, need for the season's delicious menus ginger lemon lime marmalade original ginger marmalade ginger refresher what a nice place definitely well worth the the trip 
here you can buy yourself some manuka manuka honey look at that get yourself some nice manuka honey oh it's wonderful and somewhere up here you can buy yourself a uh, there's all the selections of honey that you can get here rainforest honey eucalyptus honey oh what a great idea to come and visit this now here you've got your look at the spicy ginger biscuits and you have your ginger creams there's your ginger chocolate Anzac right there that would be good with coffee in the morning there's your little gingerbread people up there wonderful there's some ginger and lemongrass what a nice place buy yourself some beautiful flowers here Look at those beautiful flowers. And they have a, actually a, a factory tour. So you can go on a, on a nice factory tour here as well. Over here they have a nice, nice display of some different, the history. This is the, uh, the history mall take a step back in time and learn about our ginger story which began in Buderin in 1941 and there you see right there Buderin ginger from a small farming community in the pre-world war one days to one of the world's finest ginger producers food processors and tourist destination, Buderim Ginger is a long-standing and proudly successful Australian business. It all started with some raw ginger pieces that found their way to the Buderim Australia many, many years ago. They thrived in the rich volcanic soil, the high rainfall and humidity. One very nice. Here's a, you get yourself a nice little postcard. Look at that. I can focus in on that perhaps. Here's some of the other. What a wonderful tour. There's an old sign there. McCall's covers the world to bring you the best. And this is the best from Australia. Look at that. Continue on. See what they got over on this side. This side they have more. It would seem they've got some some gifts. Look at the beautiful gifts you can buy here. All types of things for the home. And get yourself a, a boomerang and get yourself a, a nice boomerang throw it and see if it comes back here's some indigenous collection here you'll see more and more indigenous towards the northern part of Australia Here's some beautiful glassware, chinaware, tea sets. Look at how beautiful that is. I would imagine there's a lady back home named Mercedes who's watching this right now and probably just absolutely loving this. Very nice. All 
types of beautiful little things that you could buy. But I learned years ago that when you travel and you start buying little things here and little things there, that uh, <laughs> they can add up real quick and in so far as weight. Here's some little gingerbread men, cookie cutters that you can see there. There's a beautiful collection of different different animals that you might see here. There's the emu, short beak, echidina. Wonderful. There's the black cockatoo. Very nice. And there's your kookaburra, I would imagine. Look at your kookaburra there. Okay. So we need to go see uh really curious to see how they make how they make ginger. Here you can see they've got factory tour and tastings, live bee show and tastings. You can uh I'm sure ride the ride the train as well. And here's your uh here's your gingerbread. It's your gingerbread man right there. Look at that. Your ginger factory. There's your your screenshot, if you will. Some monkeys just hanging around. Here's your your cafe right here. Get yourself some some ice cream. You can get it by the oh, by the scoop or the or the cup. There's a gentleman doing a nice little selfie or a little little smile there what a nice place all right I'm gonna see if I can't find my way through a little bit over to the this is actually the uh, the ginger cafe that you see right here here's your ginger ginger cafe and I'm sure before the day is through I'm gonna get myself some Nice, cold, refreshing ginger ale. And look at these gardens. Wow, I'm just gonna stop and let you appreciate it as much as I am right here. Look at this beautiful spot. Very, very nice. And just across the way they've got different little little shops we'll go share some of those with you there's a little playground very nice look at this beautiful garden here Got a rainforest. I imagine a train will be coming along here at some point in town time. Here is the loading dock right there. Or the platform I should say for the for the train. There's macadamia and, macadamia and company. Little shop you can buy yourself some nice uh, nice gifts as well. Just a beautiful spot. Get yourself a little. Koala. This would be a nice refrigerator magnet right there for my collection back home, a kookaburra. Very nice. Press.
What a nice way to spend a spend a Sunday morning. Here's Giuseppe's Giuseppe's workshop. Mr. Uh, I think the Pinocchio. Giuseppe. Look at that. Wonderful. Such a nice atmosphere as you walk about. See if we don't see a Pinocchio or two inside the the workshop. All types of little toys that you could get for the for the young ones, including this little little train right here. I don't see a Pinocchio yet. There's a spaceship. And I'm waiting to see the uh, waiting to see the Pinocchio. Maybe there's not a uh, Pinocchio in here. Hello. Oh, they actually have a train that goes up across the top. This must be Giuseppe right here. Are you, are you Giuseppe? You're not Giuseppe? All right, Giuseppe's on holiday. Where are the Pinocchios? Ah, okay. Here's a, uh, look at this, this is Dunk. Look at Dunk from the, from the tail of the gingerbread man, limited to 600 pieces right there. There you go. That's dunk. What would be a wonderful gift? No shortage of wonderful gifts here. And maybe I can, maybe I can capture the uh, capture the train going across the the top up here. We will uh, we will see. So there's a another gentleman just stopped the stop the train but maybe I can raise the camera up and let you see it just a little bit all right so we'll go step outside and see what uh, some of the other stores are here Going to shop, not to mop. That's that looks like that belongs in uh, Sue Smith's house right there. Born to shop, not to mop. That would be a good one for for Sue. And here we're coming up to just the purveyor of herbs and herbal products in this uh, this little store. So I know you're waiting to go through the garden. I'm sure. But uh, no tour would be no tour would be complete without kind of going through some of these little little shops. Very nice. Oh, it smells wonderful in here. Here you can get yourself some nice tea. Nice collection of teas. Different spices. They got some fennel. Maybe they even have some anus. A little bit of inside joke there for some of the folks that follow me on Tom TV. All right, let's go see if we can't walk through the garden or the forest rather. And I just heard the whistle, and here comes the 
here comes the the real train the choo-choo train coming down the coming down the tracks and maybe we'll get the engineer to to blow a little uh whistle here we'll we'll see there he goes so he's blowing his blowing his whistle there's your choo-choo train folks Coal fired cane locomotives. Off for a, there you go. And off they go. And they have a nice little narration as they go into the into the rainforest. And off I go into the rainforest. Oh what a joy it is to be here in the land down under absolutely fantastic look at this plant right here is that is that something zoom up and look at that all the while you hear the the sound of the train off in the off in the distance here, here's an old, old wagon. Oh, it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. To be able to just saunter your way through here. Wonderful. There's some beautiful flowers here. Look at that. If I can zoom in on that. Hey. Uh, having a hard time having a hard time focusing. There you go. Okay. I'm actually going to take a take a tour here of the of the ginger factory. Welcome to the Rainforest Walk. Many rainforests were cleared by the pioneer timber getters in Yadina. A decision was made here at the ginger factory in September of 1990 to replant. Almost 800 trees were planted here as part of our commitment to regenerate the landscape. So here we go into the into the rainforest. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I can pan up a little bit and show you the trees. Look at that. And it's nice and nice and cool in here, interestingly enough. Here's a interesting plant right here look at that somewhere out here they must have the the factory I would imagine where they make all their ginger products very very peaceful here coming up on a building just uh, over here. There you go. Look at that.
Look at this tree right here. Boy, is that something? I'm sure Phil down in or up in uh, central Michigan must be uh, really appreciating that. All right, we'll see if we can't find our way over to the spot where they're gonna give the give the tour of the actual processing of the ginger. It is tour time, and I'm gonna switch from using my my gimbal to using my cell phone, and hopefully it'll work out. Hopefully it'll work out well. It's just a little bit less. Uh, intrusive if you will using the the phone and I should be able to uh, should be able to give you some uh, some ideas to the as to the tour so we're gonna taste some uh, taste some ginger I'm sure see how it's made it's about a 40 minute tour and I think we might even get to make ourselves a uh, a gingerbread man now if you don't opt for the uh, the ginger taste of ginger tour you can uh, they have another thing here that you can do you can go on the uh, you can go on the boat ride whatever the whatever the boat ride might be look at the uh, look at the characters up there I believe that there's some type of a of a fairy uh, fairy tale if you will around the uh, the story of the the ginger man and here is the uh, character here look at that as you walk in so the Ginger Factory Overboard entrance is, is what this is. And you can actually go on this boat right here and take a take a tour of this. And over there I see the, the entrance. So I'm not quite sure what that is. I'm gonna do the I'm actually gonna do the uh, the the taste of ginger tour. Alright, and here goes our ginger tour. And I'm going to hope to share as much of it with you as possible to even include the walking up the walking up the ramp here to take the tour. And there's going to be 12 of us on the tour as we're as we're going up. There'll be 12 of us on the tour and they had to call ahead to get the get the tastings ready. So this is going to be a nice, nice tour, I'm sure. What began as a union of farmers with 25 pounds, two wooden vats and 14 tons of raw ginger is today the world's largest producer of processed confectionery ginger. The year was 1941 and at that time all the world's processed ginger was made in China. But with the onset of World War II, this supply was interrupted, leaving a gap in the market that five Budrum farmers took the opportunity to fill. Plans hatched, resulting in the Budrum Ginger Growers Cooperative being formed. Their first ginger factory was situated in the disused blacksmith shop, but later moved to the site now occupied by a marketplace in Budrum. And although these five farmers didn't know it then, they were seeing the birth of a multi-million dollar industry, Merrybud being the first retail brand. To keep pace with an expanding market, a new factory was opened in Yandina in 1980. It all starts with a little piece of ginger saved from last year's crop. Once planted, the baby ginger is nurtured with irrigation, fertilization and sun protection until early harvest. Ginger plants grow at a spectacular rate, so in just a matter of months, the fields are covered in dense green foliage, about a metre high, with rhizomes forming underground. Even at this early stage, the seed pieces have multiplied many times. During December and January, the crop is monitored constantly to determine the optimum time of harvest and usually reaches the ideal stage for factory processing by February. By this stage, most of the crop is harvested when the rhizomes are young with minimal fibre content, ideal for eating ginger. As these rhizomes have not yet developed a protective skin, 
Great care is required during the harvest to prevent bruising. Final preparation is carried out on the farm, where the ginger is washed and stems are removed. From the farm, the harvest is trucked to the factory. Once unloaded, the ginger is washed and taken to the storage vats, where it's kept at peak condition until required for processing. When we're ready to process a batch, the ginger rhizomes begin a journey along a large conveyor belt to the pre-sorting area. Skilled operators select only the choicest young stem pieces for processing into our most exclusive cuts, and the rest of the ginger goes on to be machine cut and peeled. Small pieces, best for jams and cookies, are removed by mechanical sieving. All remaining ginger then goes on for grading according to fibre content. Non-fibrous ginger is directed to the robo-sorter, which sorts the ginger by size and shape. When a total batch is cut and sorted, it's taken to the syruping area. After cooking, it's a bright yellow colour, and gradually, by the 12th day, it takes on a golden hue to become known as Australia's Golden Ginger. Using the latest technology, we package and prepare our products for distribution throughout Australia and worldwide. As one of the world's largest suppliers of confectionery ginger, we're currently exporting to over 17 countries like the UK, Germany and the USA. In a world increasingly impressed with the versatility of ginger, we offer you Budrum Ginger. Harvested from pure, mild ginger plants, manufactured and delivered to world-class standards, with a service that focuses on developing new ways of using ginger to meet growing world market demands. Budrum Ginger. and syruping room where the ginger will spend a minimum of 12 days. So the ginger you just saw cut up in the previous room is brought in here. Three blue bins will go into one of those vats. That's about 1300 kilos of ginger. It is first cooked in water for about half an hour until that ginger is nice and soft. That water is completely drained the vat will then be replaced with a syrup. The syrup is 50-50 sugar water, comes from the elevated tanks on the right hand side and distributed through the piping system. Once the ginger is sitting in syrup, there's no longer any cooking. The ginger sits in the syrup for the 12 days at room temperature. So what happens, that syrup circulates from the top to the bottom, back to the top again, continuously for 12 days. That replaces the need to agitate any of the vats as well. What it also does, that syrup is distributed evenly and the ginger and the syrup will get darker in colour. So the reason you're seeing different coloured vats down there is because they're all working at different stages. Those vats are all doing the same thing, they're just working individually. They all begin the yellow raw colour, finish dark golden brown. At the end of the 12 days, to remove the complete contents from one of those vats, we use the vacuum drum filler to do that. Now it's basically a giant vacuum cleaner. It is parked in front of you folks here. It's got the blue hose with the large drum attached to it straight ahead here. That machine is on wheels. It can access every vat in this room. What it does, it will vacuum out the complete content of a finished vat. It also separates the syrup from the ginger. The syrup is collected separately it will become all of our drinks. It also becomes those ginger bears that I showed you. And the ginger pieces become everything else that we make. Any questions, folks? Go ahead. There are 70 vats, in case anyone's wondering. We did begin in Budrum with three wooden vats. 80 years ago next year it'll be. Is there a reason why there's no lids? 
most vats in that have like lids and the room is them. kept sterile the same way right. operating theatres are and hospitals a lot of medical places oh, what we do is we um we pump extra air in which causes an overpressure dust and insects can't get in so it's actually quite sterile you can't see where those vents are because we're standing on them they're underneath here but this entire area underneath are large vents really a wonderful tour and the tour guide just a, a real delight she uh, has given me an opportunity to come back and share some of this with you look at uh, I, these are their these are their awards environmental protection agency sustainable industries award 2008 look at that I would think that uh, I would think that that is a uh, thing that they're really, really proud of right there. All types of nice little awards. And look at this. Looks like an old microscope or something. Look at that. Really nice. Here's the uniform. That was uh, Doris's uniform right there worn in the Buterim ginger factory in the early 1980s uniforms were handmade by a small group of workers so there's your your uniform very nice and here is uh this is jeffrey shrapnel right there Tireless, creative, visionary advocate for the Buterim ginger in industry. What a nice tour. Very, very wonderful. And the uh, naked ginger is the number one seller, in case you were wondering. And here is the, here's the ginger here. Look at that. Look at that ginger. That's what you saw in those big metal tanks. They zoom in a little bit on that. And here is a uh, large photograph on the wall as you walk into that room where I just was showing you the, the factory. They keep all the, the ginger and concrete, which doesn't uh, make, doesn't require them to cool it. But there is your, uh, Here's your factory right there if you're wondering where your where your ginger comes from. Isn't that something? Here is a wonderful statue to share with you as you come in. This is the the ginger grower right here. And this was Harry Ham, dedicated to the memory of Mr. Ginger, involved in developing the Queensland ginger industry at Buderum from 1943 to 1980. So there he is. Look at that. That is the one and only Mr. Uh, Mr. Harry Ham. And if I turn around just over here, you can actually see a, a picture of Mr. Mr. Harry Ham. There he would be right there. Looks like a really, really nice guy. Before heading out, I thought I'd share, well, I'd let uh, Kelly share this gentleman with you. Who is this that we're looking at? All right, so this was Norman Templeton, and you can see he was a hardworking farmer. Now, the Templeton family still supply us with ginger. They are our largest farms, our largest supplier, and have been supplying ginger to Budrum Ginger for over four generations. Wow. Thank you. All right, now we're going into the tasting room. And uh, boy, this is always the, the nicest part. Look at this. So you can get yourself a nice little, nice little drink. Oh, this looks good. Hmm. So grab your drink, grab a tasting okay. plate, and remembering, just try the drink when you get to the, so here when you your... have a seat, don't eat anything off the plate yet. Okay, so we're going to need to grab a plate, so we're going to grab the plate and uh, then take our drink over. So let's do that here, I'll get
get my drink here in just a moment. All right, it is sample time here at the Ginger Factory. Uh, so welcome everyone to the tasting room. Now, the drink you're having, have you all tried it? What it is, is our Ginger Refresher Cordial. So this is one of the drinks that we make from that syrup that you saw in that cooking room. Being a cordial means you have to dilute it to drink it. You've got it mixed with some soda water. So it tastes a lot like a ginger beer. Can be added to anything you like. Plain water, tea, coffee, milkshakes, juices, alcohol, hot chocolate on a nice cold night, and a hot Milo. Beautiful. You can also add it to your meals, add it to your corn silver side, add it to a stir fry. We've used it in the first thing I'll get you to try on your plates, and that is your pineapple. So try your fruit first, everyone. Look at this. So now we're so going to. So, what we've got there, we've marinated the pineapple in some of our refresher. Well, that looks good, doesn't Some it? taste of ginger in that. What it does, mm. though, it seems to remove the acidity of the fruit. Oh, this boy, is that nice tastes good. Fruit salad. That tastes wonderful. Okay. In the supermarkets, in the cordial section, anybody already use this? Yeah? Handy to have in the fridge if you What get a lovely that lady. Really good yeah. for your, your tummy. Next up is a savoury snack and it's the jam on the rice cracker. It looks a little bit like a chutney. So what you've got there is a rice cracker with a layer of cream cheese and the topping is what we've made. We caramelise some cooked onions in our plain ginger marmalade. Then we add a few extra flavours in Boy, that, that looks moment. good. A bit of lime juice, vinegar, caster sugar, some cinnamon, and some cloves. You can chop and change those spices to your liking. Oh boy, the that's good. The onion jam is great for a barbecue, or in hamburgers, hot dogs, steak sandwiches, cold sandwiches, delicious. If you have lunch in our cafe today, you're likely to have our onion jam and something really yummy. This is wonderful. Okay, next up everyone is the dipping sauce with your meatball. So let's try this one. It's very popular. What we've used mm. to make that sauce is a sweet chili sauce. Hey, and Angela, are you liking this? And our product here, our sweet chili sauce. Boy, that looks sauce. good. Look at that. Great sauce for your barbecue. Ready, made up. You mm, can marinate it's as good as it tastes. The sweet ginger sauce on its own. Pop it on ice cream, waffles, pancakes, chicken dishes, fish, things like that. Hmm. All right, we're already up to dessert, folks, and that is your ginger biscuit. So if you're ready, you can start on your dessert. Ooh. You can use any brand of ginger bicky that you like. We make that Ooh, topping. Yeah. Boy, that that looks topping good. consists of cream cheese, sour cream, and cream our cheese, sour lime cream. ginger marmalade. Oh boy. So what you've got there is a dessert that Harry, doesn't that look like good? lemon cheesecake. Really yummy. You guys like dessert? Mm. That topping can be made and had with things like carrot cake, banana bread, scones, fresh fruit. Even dress that dessert up a little bit with a little bit of grated chocolate on the top. Boy, that tastes like. really good. So that's really yummy and very good. I think popular. a star is born here. What a wonderful tour guide. You're an angel. Last on your plate, everyone, is some naked ginger. Ooh, naked ginger. Naked ginger is uncrystallized ginger. So it has a different coating to the crystallized ginger. It has a tasteless powdered sugar, whereas crystallized has caster sugar. This is our best seller. So you can snap on it straight out of the packet. That's how you've got them to try. 
So they're handy to have in the car if you tra um, travel and get car so There is your uh, on a boat. There's your naked ginger, car. folks. You can put them in your breakfast cereals, in your muesli, porridge. Just, there you, you go. Like to bake, trying to focus on it. Anyway, I'll just spices. eat it. You can also make chocolate ginger with this. Oh boy, that's good. All right, folks. I hope now, you enjoyed you your. Folks, hope you enjoyed you your tour here. Wonderful, to wherever you're from and go to buy a product, wonderful. wonderful. Have a they great day. You can ask them to 